The conservative bias of Fox is something that's obvious to anybody attached to reality. Uh, but on occasion, what they'll do is drop all pretense and just let it all hang out, almost to the point where you can't help but laugh. So as everybody knows, there's been uh, something interesting going on in the Middle East. There's a seemingly serious terrorist threat that the administration uh, decided, you know what, let's not take any chances here, let's shut down the embassies across the Muslim world. Uh, Britain also followed suit, uh, so did France and others. And Fox said, well, let's take this and go on the offense. Let's use this to politically attack the administration. Bill Kristol said, quote, a year ago, the president said Al Qaeda is on the run, and now we seem to be on the run. Steve Ducey, quote, if you're Al Qaeda, you say, wait a minute, we're not on the run, we're emboldened. We're gonna try something. Jim DeMint, while he was on Fox News Sunday, said, uh, the perception of weakness in this administration is encouraging this kind of behavior. Peter Johnson, a Fox News contributor, quote, is this a creeping abdication of American exceptionalism? So their point is clear. Uh, they say, you know what, in the face of terrorism, we should stay and fight. You don't close the bases because that shows weakness. Louis Gohmert is another example. He was co-hosting for Sean Hannity today on his radio show. He said, it shows weakness to close down these bases. Well, that's funny because uh, I seem to remember when Benghazi happened, people on Fox were screaming, <laughs> why didn't you close the bases? Wasn't there a credible threat? You didn't take it seriously? Oh my God. So do you see that? It's really interesting. So if he closes the base, he's attacked for being weak. But if he keeps it open, uh, he's attacked for putting lives in danger. So this is Fox News 101. If uh, a Democratic president does X, attack him. But if Republican president does X, the same thing, well, you sing his praises all day long. Uh, so as if that's not enough information to show you how ridiculous they are, get this. Under President George W. Bush, the nation experienced uh, attacks against 13 U.S. embassies, and the administration repeatedly closed embassies in response to terror threats. On September 11, 2002, the U.S. closed nine embassies in countries like Indonesia and Malaysia indefinitely and shut down embassies in Vietnam and Cambodia after uncovering a plot by a radical Islamic organization. In May of 2003, the United States temporarily closed its embassy in Saudi Arabia following warnings of imminent terror threat. In June of 2003, the Defense Department, quote, alerted all U.S. interests in Kenya to a terrorist threat, prompting the closure of the American embassy in Nairobi. In May 2005, I can go on all day, uh, the government responded that on the basis of there being a terrorist threat, the U.S. Embassy and the U.S. Consulate General in, in Indonesia have been closed. Now, did they say anything about Bush being weak when he did the exact same thing as President Obama? Here, I have their quote right here. You know what they said? Dick. And actually, that's not even necessarily true, because if they said anything, they would say, oh, the intelligence community is working, the executive branch and the administration, they are genius. They shut down the bases because they knew there was going to be an attack. How smart are they? They can read the tea leaves. They know exactly what they're doing. These are professionals. These are leaders. But when President Obama does it, oh, my God, he's so weak. We should have stayed there and fought and then died. And then if they died, we would have attacked the president for not leaving. I say it every day, but if you take Fox News seriously, something's wrong with you.